What's going on, y'all? Didn't expect to see me again, huh? Your boy here, Apollo, from Down, Down, and Up, Up. We're in the middle of Raw right now. And here is Sarah Scriber. Okay, it's uh, Bailey and her group talking. Turned it on, though, just to get ready for the United States Championship match coming up. Lashley style should be good. Dakota Kai's talking. Well, seem to just be talking, but uh, what do you guys think of Raw so far? Let me know. I'm about uh, almost 10 o'clock into Raw, 9.55 right now where I am. So about an hour left. What do you think of the first two hours? Owens and McIntyre was awesome. Their promo was great. The Usos were so expected. It sort of ruined things for me, but not fully. I think that's been the highlight for me on Raw so far. I'm not sure what Dakota's angry about. Oh, she's yelling at somebody. Oh, she's yelling at Dana. Oh, I guess it's Dakota and Dana tonight. No, she's not afraid. Okay. Here we go. Here comes Styles. Oh. First time ever, these two. I just figured if I'm going to react to something, let's try this. It doesn't seem like we have a main event planned yet, unless I'm completely forgetting something. But this is why I'm here. This is pretty much why I'm here today. I'm because Lashley and Ciampa was phenomenal last week. I want to see what happens when AJ and Lashley get in there for the US title. But seriously, McIntyre and Owens' promo was so great. They both went over stuff that you just know they wouldn't be allowed to even closely discuss in their character roles right now. Owens talked about his match with Sami Zayn at Battleground all those years ago. I still love that match. I think that's my favorite match with both of them in it against each other. Um, and just hasn't held a championship in five years. Wants to get back to his roots kind of thing. I love that. Love that. Besides that, um, women's tag tournament carried on. Bliss and Asuka versus Dewdrop and Nikki A.S.H. was okay. Um, we did have a garbage can burning in the back. I'm wondering if that's more Dexter Luma stuff and if he's going to show up again. Maybe interfering in this match even, because he seemed like he tried to get at Styles at the end of last week. But we'll see. Right now. Almighty. This should be hot. Because this is why I'm here. It's so weird, though, that he gets this almighty stage entrance as a baby face. I'm just amazed this wasn't his heel entrance. Water. Oh, damn. Whew. He's creeping. I got lucky um, last time, though. I'm not sure how much of the volume is actually picked up by my camera right now. I don't think I had a single copyright claim problem last week. I'm hoping for the same this week. I'm not sure if we're going to get anything crazy like last week, but uh, that Miz uh, AJ main event was pretty good. Very much enjoyed. Like, for me so far, this Raw has been, like, uh, a 7? I feel like that's mainly just for the McIntyre Owen stuff. It might go up to an 8 or a 9 after this match. We'll see. Kind of surprised this isn't the main event. But second week in a row, the United States Championship has been up for grabs on Raw. Lashley's the fighting champion. I love to see it. Uh, what else has happened, though? I guess Veer Mahan beat a local. It was mid. I guess nothing has really changed about a squash match every week on Raw of some sort. Uh, Miz and Ciampa versus Ali and Cedric was nice. It was also nice to see Cedric at his entrance. Um, literally, uh, Ali goes for the 450. Ciampa gets him with the knee. Crazy. 
crazy to see a 450 counter like that in today's WWE. And also, they've been using the word wrestler and wrestling a little bit, which is nice to see because I heard those got unbanned the other day. Good stuff, Triple H. Um, and Rey Mysterio got destroyed by Judgment Day in the beginning of the show. That was meh. Didn't really care for that opening, but tis what it is. Hyping up Damian Priest and Edge next week on Raw. And we're just getting through the introductions. But you guys let me know, what, what do you think is going to happen during this? Um, obviously, this isn't a watch-along. This uh, It's just a reaction from last night, because most likely I'm uploading this Tuesday. But what were you expecting? What was your reaction to this? Who did you want to win? Did you get your way? Let me know. Who's going to interfere? I, I'm really interested. Is this going to stay one-on-one? -on -one? We've already seen a DQ in the form of McIntyre and Owens. I'm not interested in another one for this. But Miz and Ciampa seem to still have an issue with AJ Styles, so they're likely. Dexter Loomis is still likely. We'll see what we get, but the bell is rung, and here we go. All right, let's do this. Get some wrestling. By the way, thank you guys so much. 200 plus subscribers. I love it. I've been on YouTube for a hot minute now, again, since late 2015? Pretty sure is when I started uploading stuff. So to see over 200 subs means a lot to me. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Apollo Nation. A lot of respect. A lot of respect for you. Um, and the views of the Raw video last week, amazing. I don't get views like that very often. But that's because I'm not someone looking for the views. I'm just here having a good time. You guys know this, though. If you check me out, you know this. I'm here for the fun. But to get good views like that, hey, it, it improves the morale. So, again, a lot of respect. A lot of respect for you. Also, uh, let me know if you like the lighting for this kind of thing. I feel like this is different. I kind of like this. I wasn't sure how I felt about it last week, but then I'm thinking, you know what? We don't watch a lot of late stuff, so... Let's get a little bit of the light, a little bit of the dark. Bring it in for something different, you know? I'm not a special effects guy, so I work with what I got. Whew, gotta calm down, though. It is slightly hot where I am right now. And of course, I have my window open. Both of my cats are taking in the air right now. You cheeky, selfish buggers, because that's my air. I need it right now. I would have air conditioning or dehumidifier on. Problem is, super loud. I, I don't need that right now. I'm not, I'm not that terribly uh, humid at the moment. But hey, this mask counts for something, right? But the gimmick's the gimmick. I said water, right? Let's we'll say it again. Water. Anyway, Lashley with a power slam on AJ. We're starting this simply. Starting this pretty simple. Looking to manhandle Styles. Clear where the strength advantage goes to in this match. And uh, possibly even the speed. You cannot underestimate Lashley, although AJ got the better of him there. Caught him coming back in the ring. Could be going for the phenomenal... No... Well, Ashley Calm Fireman's carry position on the outside. Could be looking to go right into that post. We've seen this many times. Mm. Oh, but Lashley Calm himself, though. Styles was able... Ooh, elbow. Elbow. Okay. Okay. Styles was able to block, but Lashley did not run into it himself. Ooh. Excuse me, but a big knee. What are we doing here? There's the forearm. Slightly phenomenal. Is that going to... That's going to go to commercial. Absolute plebs. All right. It's a nice little star. Nice little star. I like the outside stuff they were doing. I think I had just enough time to discuss things with you guys before it got slightly interesting. But, of course, now we've got to commercial. But what else have we seen in the show again? Uh, I feel like I might be missing one or two small little details from this show. Oh, Riddle and Rollins. Um... Rollins obviously came out to gloat because he knew Riddle was going to be interviewed, going on of, oh, he's going to retire, all that, yada, yada, yada. But Riddle turned out to be medically cleared in the building, had a little kerfuffle with Seth, chased him out of the building, and has challenged him to a match at Clash at the Castle. So what do you guys think about that? Uh, me, personally, I figured that they would be wrestling pay-per-view at some point. I'm a bit disappointed that there isn't a stipulation, but then again, he just challenged him. Maybe Rollins throws down a stipulation. Those two... Ooh, what would I want to see them do? Here's the thing. I would actually pick Last Man Standing, but we just had the Last Man Standing main event at SummerSlam between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, so I don't think we're going to be doing that. I'm just not interested in a street... You know what? Falls Count Anywhere. I would decide if Falls Count Anywhere for those two. I think they could kill it. They could go around the building and have some fun. 
maybe even go outside in the UK, even though I know that's unlikely. Thing is, I watch so much, like, uh, Attitude Era stuff. I'm in that point in 1999 where, like, every hardcore championship match goes outside the building. Mwah, just fantastic. Fun nonsense. Fun nonsense. Anyway, I'm going to pause here, and when it comes back on, we'll get right back into it. See you guys in a second. Back from the ad break. Here we go again. Lashley Styles. Oh, just that always gets me to cringe, man. It, Lashley just throws them, Styles falls down, takes the back right into the bottom part of the post. Oh, pain. I don't, oh, I don't want to listen to that again. Oh, man, I don't need that. Like, you, there are some things you cannot just, like, fake the pain for, man. And just take it into the front barricade. Lashley is starting to get more physical with AJ here. More aggressive. Oh, there's respect, Graves, but it's also the United States Championship we're talking about. Oh, brutalizing Styles. Styles has got to use some quick wit to get back into this one. He's got to take advantage of of any mistakes Lashley is going to make in this match. But right now, Lashley doesn't seem to be in the mood for making mistakes. He's on the hunt. He's hurting him. Getting him back in the ring and into a corner. And no interference. Yeah, nothing. Nobody out here doesn't seem like anything of significance happened during the break with uh, anybody other than the two combatants in this match. And again, just working on him. Putting in the work. Still, I wonder what else we're going to get on this Raw. I guess Dakota Kai and um, uh, Dana Brooke. And sorry, if the beginning of this video was very underwhelming, I was ready for a U.S. Championship match, and then, of course, they came on. Of course, silly me. I decided to start recording once we came back from commercial when they announced that this match was going to be next. And, hey, it's next in the match card, but not of things to happen on Raw. Style seems to be back in a little bit of control, though. He got Lashley down. Yeah, what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting on this show that maybe has been announced, but I still don't think has been announced? There we go. Big knee. Big knee. Good stuff, AJ. See how long this video is going to uh, be, by the way, compared to last week. I forget what last week's video was. Um, the length. Maybe 20 minutes? This one, I might just react to the whole, like, last hour. There's about 50 minutes left of the show, so we'll see what happens. Keep my interest or not. But I, you guys know I'm mainly here for this match. Okay. AJ kicking. Getting in his strikes. Getting in his strikes. Lash is a bit rocked. Can Styles win the United States Championship? When is the last time Styles held singles gold? Oh, well, Lashley caught a big spine buster. Was it the Intercontinental title? I think 2020? Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like you have the IC title 2020, and then him and Omos became a thing 2021 broke apart, and this year hasn't been any championship. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm fairly correct. And here comes Miz and Ciampa. Mm, we were ready. We were ready. But ironically, when Lashley has control of the match, not Styles, they must just be cheering on Lashley. Oh, good lord. Styles getting thrown in these posts like crazy today. Miz and Ciampa just happy to see Lashley dominating. I don't think Lashley's really amused to have an audience this close to the ring. Especially if this match really is going to get screwed up. And of course the tiny balls chant start because immaturity at its finest. It worked. The gimmick worked. Styles reversing a suplex. Can he get him up? No, Lashley's putting the hurt in. Okay, counter with the knee, counter with the knee. Well, Ashley just persistent, persistent for the suplex. And just throwing him into the ropes. Big shot. Ashley going off the ropes, going for the spear. 
No, just throwing the styles to the ground. Mm. Taking a beating. And Miz whispering something to Ciampa, and Ciampa is going to the back, or is he going around? No, he's in front of Lashley on the part of the ring facing the entry ramp, and the Miz might be looking at cheap shot styles. Referee's not looking. Taking his time with it. Picking Styles up by the hair. Oh, Loomis! 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 He jumped by the announce table and two security are tackling him down into Corey Graves! Yo, the announcers are completely flustered. Loomis is being grabbed by like three or four people right now. You knew it. You knew it. You knew these people were going to do something. They've got him again. They've got him again. Oh, Oh, and it cut to ad. It cut. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. All right. We're going to mute that. Ooh, Loomis. That was good. I was wondering my, why Miz was hesitating. Was it the referee who was supposed to catch him? And then all of a sudden, Loomis just jumps in. They're being so subtle with him so far. Let me know what you guys think. I wasn't sure about last week, but I feel like I know the gist of what we're doing with him right now. Subtle is the key word. Ooh, all right. See you guys in a bit. I'm gonna pause again. Dexter Loomis, but the match is still going. Coming back from commercial. Let's see what we're getting here. Coming back from our second commercial. Okay, it seems like we're back to normal. Okay, Loomis escorted out by security. Graves doesn't want to talk about it. I don't see Ciampa or Miz. Lashley with a big pickup flatliner. Okay, seems like we're just back to it. We are cutting back to the... Oh, Spear to Miz on the outside. And I'm going to assume Phenomenal Forearm to Ciampa. Oh, no, Ref just threw Ciampa out. And I, I assume Miz with him when he woke up. Okay, then. That's three expected interference that are gone. Lashley going for the Spear thrown out of the ring by Styles. Kicked out again. And could be looking for the... There's the phenomenal forearm, but to the outside of the ring. Yes, he does, Graves. Needs him back in. Win that championship. You got to do it in the ring. Lashley's house right now is in and outside of the ring when it comes to keeping that United States championship. What's AJ going to do now? He's not going for another forearm. Replaying the phenomenal forearm to the outside. I'm having fun right now. I'm not going to lie. This is a good time. This is a good time. Another forearm in the ring. Not phenomenal. Styles getting in that zone. Does he want it? Can he smell it? That fourth United States Championship in his grasp. Close line in the corner. Ooh, he's got him up. Fireman's carry. Oh, no. Barely. Barely. I'm surprised Lashley didn't go for the hurt lock right there. Okay. AJ thrown onto the apron. I don't know if that's wise by Lashley, because yet yeah, here comes Styles. Trying to get some separation for the phenomenal. F oh. Sort of a phenomenal forearm, but Lashley kicked out. Lashley was sort of kneeled down and Styles hit it, but at very close range. Not really enough time to, you know, load it up, so to speak. Styles is getting desperate. He's getting desperate. But the resilience of the Almighty. Gut checks in the corner. Styles got the leg up. We're getting into this. Getting into this match now. Oh, flipping, flipping. Style. Oh, Lashley's power slam position. Running power slam. That might do it. If this was 2019, Lashley. Shoulders up. Whew. So Luma strikes again, eh? Luma strikes again. Miz and Ciampa strike again. I'm not sure if it's going to be the last time we see Miz and Ciampa. And if there's anybody else, I'm going to be concerned. 
It's raging on. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay, Lashley looking for a superplex, maybe. Can he get him up? Oh, wait, no, he's looking for a belly-to-belly. -belly. Off the top. No. Nope, style slipping. Sliding through the legs. Smart, smart. Oh, oh. Reverse fireman's carry. Into a blue thunder bomb. Ooh. Nice stuff, though. Nice stuff. Lashley's a big guy for AJ, so... Gotta give the respect. Respect where it's owed for the strength of the challenger. I love doing show commentary. This, this is what I'm here for. Okay, up next in the bottom right, they say Dana Brooke and Dakota Kai. If I'm gonna keep reacting, I don't think I'm gonna react to that. Depends on what the main event is. Actually throwing Styles over, though. I think Styles is going for the Styles Clash. Could be thinking hurt lock, waiting for him to get up. Styles is not really moving. Okay, Lashley's getting impatient. Oh no, he's going for the Dominator. Is he gonna get it? Ooh! Almost had me. There wasn't much of a pop even from the announcers for it. Not really a dominator um, to my standards. I call it a full throttle. Uh, if you've played SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 as Chuck Palumbo or a 2K14, 15, or even 13 with Justin Gabriel, you know what I'm talking about. Standing finisher. Also, any noise was my cats. Oh, and there we go. There we go. Styles thrown into the post by Lashley. That vintage fireman's carry running start. This is looking a bit out of reach. Or styles at this point. Ashley back in the ring. Now Lashley's going for the spear. Still no sign of Miz and Trompa again. Can he get the spear? No, Styles with a, a knee. Oh, going for the calf crusher! Calf crusher! Yo, it's not every day you see Bobby Lashley submit. I'm not even sure if we've seen Lashley submit. Oh, no, Lashley said, wow, transitioning into the heart lock. Brilliant. I love submission for submission counters. Can Styles float over into a pin? Yes, he can. On the ground. There's two. There are just two. Just two. Very well done. Very well done with that. Styles may have an advantage, but... Getting a bit cocky. Thrown to the apron. Punching Lashley off. Could be thinking phenomenal forearm. Might get caught in the spear. Jumping. Ducking. Off the ropes. Spear by the almighty. That's it. Lashley wins it. Nice match. Nice match. I love the U.S. Championship being as relevant as it can be, especially with a fighting-ass champion. And that's Bobby Lashley right now. Took Trump to the limit last week, had a lovely kerfuffle with AJ this week. Not as good as last week, in my opinion, but this was still pretty damn good. For these uh, two first-ever one-on-one match, that was hot. You love to see it. You love to see it. Still the United States champion. Doing it in the capital, Washington, D.C. Who can stop Bobby Lashley, man? I'm mad I missed out reacting to his match last week. I did not miss it this week. Oh, yeah, Theory's back. I guess he's fighting Ziggler tonight. Oh, maybe that's the main event. I might check that out. That might be good. Very well could be good. All right. 
you know what? I think I'll see you guys for that. I'm gonna pause again. We'll see you for the main event. That loud. Hey, town down. Music right now. Main event time. By the looks of it, I don't really know what else we've got coming up. Um, Dakota Kai and Dana Brooke was fine. It was more of a showcase for just a quick Dana, uh, pardon me, Dakota Kai squash. Uh, they went through uh, what's happening next week. We've got Edge and Priest, obviously. If I can, I look forward to watching that with y'all. As well as Bliss and Asuka versus Dakota Kai and Io Sky. Should be good. But right now, looks like it's main event time. It is 10.35 where I be. A Town Down, Mr. Austin Theory is coming out with Mr. Briefcase and Selfie Phone, and I am losing every part of my brain cell at this point. Where is Ziggler? Oh, up next, and silly me, I thought we would be actually getting entrances in and starting a little bit of wrestling. It's commercial time. See you when it's over. Back again. They used to advertise SmackDown again. And Theory's music is still playing. It is 1040, 20 minutes on the clock. Hopefully, gonna get a good match here. Kind of surprised we're still just doing this on a Raw. I feel like the way Ziggler's attacked him, nothing much has come up physical so far. Maybe this would have got to Clash of the Castle. Come on! Ah, uh, Ziggler, your music shall never change. That should be good. Anybody expecting anything else in this match? Like, do we think Loomis is coming back out? Do we think anyone else is interfering in this? Is there anything left in this show? They're going through uh, SummerSlam recaps right now. Oh man, when Theory came out with the briefcase and the ring was the way it was after Papa Brock destroyed it with the tractor, I was so pleasantly confused of what was going to happen. Because again, I was ready for him to lose a briefcase, but how is he going to cash in with a busted ring? Well, he didn't. And then it dawned on me, Theory's not losing the briefcase. He still got it. I had a great theory, ha, huh, funny, that... Triple H wouldn't want him near the world championship with it. What if Theory's the first man to cash in on an NXT championship? Ponder that for a second. Think about it. Think about it. Braun Breaker's got a championship match with Jordan Devlin this week. I, JD McDonough, whatever. Um, Theory, you want to be NXT world champion? Think about it. I don't know. There's a part of me that's starting to believe Theory may cash in on a different championship than what Roman Reigns currently possesses. Or this is going to be some long-term waiting, which is great because we haven't had the briefcase held by one guy for such a long time going somewhere. I'm excited. Bottom line, I'm excited. Anyway, these two are going at it. Some ground striking. Oh, big forearm, though. Ziggler just completely out. Ziggler still knows how to sell. Bless his heart, man. Oh, this has been fun. Theory must be feeling pretty good, though. He's taken all of the cheap shots the past few weeks before SummerSlam, when Ziggler really, for no reason, just started getting in his business with split-second super kicks. Ooh, throwing Ziggler into that post. This has got to feel good for Theory. Officially made his return at the... Uh, WrestleMania 39 party show, whatever it was called. Taken on Ricochet, but now back on Raw. Main event with Dolph Ziggler by the looks of it. It is still strange, though, that we announce United States Championship matches ahead of time. But they're not the main event. I'm not saying I'm complaining. I'm just more or less surprised that a main event still cannot be announced beforehand during a show. Whereas the Intercontinental Championship match with Nakamura and Gunther did main event SmackDown this past week, and it was okay. The fact that Hit Row got brought back, it took a bit of my soul, to be honest. Just bottom-of-the-barrel trash, but I digress. 
We all have our opinions. Hit Row and the Maximum Male Model things. That is what is holding SmackDown from no longer being the A show. Raw? Raw seems to know what it's doing these days to keep my attention. Which is saying a lot considering that Raw is still three hours. But the, the trash is coming back on SmackDown. I hate to say it. Whereas, not Karrion Cross. I'm happy to have Karrion Cross back. Uh... So they're coming back, though. Boom! Big DDT. Vintage Ziggler. Finally coming back from the abuse. Cats, can you stop stealing my window? I need the Breeze. I need Tyler Breeze, too, but we'll get to him later. You know, there we go. I'm going to call my shot. So Tyler Breeze is going to come back at the end of the show and attack Theory for stealing his gimmick. Let's go with that. Who knows? Who knows? The gimmick of Triple H taking over so far seems to be a return of some sort every week now. Every show now. So, theoretically, we haven't seen anything new yet on this show. Unless you count Cedric Alexander back on TV. I do approve of that. Um, but Loomis was established at this point. So, he was creeping. I don't know. Just Is there something more to this? I just don't know. I'm honestly starting to get worried that the show might just close with Judgment Day doing more talking with things. It shouldn't, but I don't know. We'll see. 10.45, though, on my clock. 15 minutes to go. In reality, uh, what I would love to see here is just the return of the way. Fully. Fully. But if it was going to happen, you'd think it would have happened in Cleveland last week. If that doesn't give away who y'all thought I was going to pop for coming back, I don't know what more to tell you without name dropping. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to jinx things. Ziggler like trying to go for a superplex, though. And Theory does not like, but both of them are still up. And Ziggler knocked down. What is Theory going to do with this? Something tells me oh, I'm getting distracted by the crowd. Ziggler needs to move quick. Needs to move quick. Maybe thinking about that X-Factor. Ziggler jumping up. Ziggler jumping up. Can he get the X-Factor from the top rope? He's tripping, but he got it. Oh, might have messed up his knee, though. Kayfabe or not, Ziggler is selling the knee. He was a bit wobbly on it. One, two. <clears throat> I do love that, though. Oh, it's a commercial. Oh, commercial break again. See you in a second. Okay, keeping the ball going, though. Almost on the ads. Almost on the ads. Um, just advertising Heat Wave tomorrow again for NXT. Still, though, fun evening. We're uh, doing a little bit over double the time I saw you guys last week. I want to say last week's video was about 17-ish minutes. We're over 33 right now, so fun stuff. About 10 minutes left in the show. I'll be surprised if there's another ad. I still wonder what else we're going to get just besides these two wrestling and a finish, if anything. I just can't help have my expectations up. theory has got him in a sort of a sleeper right now, though. Zegger's going to get out of this. wonder who's going to win this, though. I wasn't too sure about Lashley and Styles. I would have figured Lashley. And of course he did. Fun match. This. Uh, I feel like it's Theory's payback, right? Ziggler ran right into that turnbuckle, though. Theory in control, but he's gloating a bit too much. Taking his time. Looking maybe for that neck breaker. Rolling into the ring. Oh no, it's a drop kick. I apologize. Lovely one at that. There's one, two, and he's kicking out at two. Oh, Theory again, just throwing Ziggler shoulder first into the post. There have been a lot of nasty post shots tonight. Good. Beautiful drop kick though. Replays coming through. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just me. I sort of, the sword just hit me now. I am enjoying this show for its lack of stupid crowd shots during stuff. I will say that. 
All right, Theory. Thinking Superplex or Brain Buster. No, Ziggler uh, rolling through. Trying to get some separation. Elbow, elbow. What else you got, Dolph? You're going to need more than that. Kicking him off, kicking him off. Ziggler just trying to play defense right now. Oh, into the post goes Theory. Big clothesline. Another clothesline. Ziggler on the come up. Splash in the corner, staying there. Punches. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Laying on him. Laying it on him. Ziggler not appreciating Theory's comments about being a has been in the bag. Elbow drop for you. There's two. No. I can't believe you've done this. Both men back to the. I would say stand still, but neither of them are standing. Looks like they got it a decent crowd, though, for the show. Obviously not too much cuts to the other side of the arena. But I know they actually was there. Looked like there were a lot of people. Cats, can you please calm down? Um, oh, there we go. I can actually feel the breeze now. Ziggler might be thinking super kick. Looks like he's tuning up the band. Ah, theory caught. But takes another elbow in the corner. Ziggler sprint. I'm not sure what Ziggler was thinking. Ziggler not known for a back springboard guy. Theory's got him again. Reverse fireman's carry position. What is this? Oh, very similar to what Styles did earlier. Into the blue thunder. Boom. Just two. Ah. Seven to six minutes left on my clock right now. Mm. There you go to the outside. Okay. Just to the apron. Just to the apron. Wasn't sure if he was getting desperate to get a chair. He's not close to his briefcase. His briefcase is on one of the corners to the announcer side. He's already hit the drop kick, though. He's doing another roll into what? Famous, sir? Awesome. Awesome stuff. <clears throat> Just two. Just two. It is great what Ziggler can counter into that famous or man. I also remember a point where people were just no selling it and hitting their specials on Ziggler. I remember SummerSlam 2014, famous or to Miz. Miz takes it but like doesn't fall down fully and then skull crushing finale. And then I want to say Raw 2015, famous or to Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt again does the same sort of stall and then Sister Abigail. There was just one point where the famous or was just transitioning into other moves similar to Rollins uh uh corner power bomb the running power bomb a buckle bomb so to speak into Roman Reigns Superman punch the references they just come from nowhere I know my brain still on point with things a little slugfest action going on right now though about five minutes left less than five minutes left in the show it looks like we're just going to be ending with this then interesting choice Crowd definitely behind Ziggler. Give us a kiss, love. There's that headbutt. Looking for Zigzag. Holding on to the ropes. Big clothesline from Theory. Back in a big way. Ziggler might be about to experience what we like to call a town down. No, Ziggler elbowing, elbowing. Can he get out? Can he get out? Can he get out? Roll up, roll up, roll up. One, two. Theory rolling through. Has one leg. Pushing him off. Okay. Oh, caught. No, caught out. Zigzag. Slow to make the cover. Oh, he kicked out a zigzag. Oh. Nice match, this. You know what? No, we don't need anything big to end this week, I guess. Big clothesline. No way town down. Zigzag. Love to see it. Getting to hunch time, though. Less than four minutes. Coming up on three.
Both men struggling to get up. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Winner of this may be in serious line for a United States Championship match if we're going to continue that trend going into Toronto next week. Ziggler just slapping him, getting himself up, forcing himself up. He wants that super kick. No, caught him again into a roll-up. Feet on the rope, feet on the rope. And the ref caught him, ref caught him. Mm. Ziggler with a roll-up. He's got the tights, he's got the tights. Ooh. Looking for another famous sir? I don't think so. Oh, into a power bomb. Into the transition. A town down. That's gotta be it. One, two. Great match. Great match. I wouldn't say main event worthy, but fun match, man. Just so seamlessly. Catches into a power bomb, turns it into A Town down. Awesome. Three, two minutes left. Not sure if there's anything else to this, but Theory's a happy camper over Dolph Ziggler. He got his revenge. He got his revenge, man. Selfies all day. Do we have... And no, we're cutting the replays. I guess that would be it, then. You know, one thing I forgot, I think actually the time I have here is a little bit uh, slower than real time. We'll see, though. Theory's taunting at the top. No, it looks like we're just cutting the next week stuff. Edge and Damian Priest, that should be hot. Again, if I'm free, I'm definitely reacting to that. Semifinals to the Women's Tag Tournament. Blessing Oscar versus Io Sky and Dakota Kai. Looks like just those two at the moment. There's the logo. Looks like that's wrong. Click. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Let me know what you think. I don't think this was a huge episode of Raw. I feel like this was missable. But I had a fine time. It was okay. Nothing for me to seriously complain about. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciation again for 200 plus subs. We're going to keep chugging through. Keep it real.